So in this video, I will show you how to optimize Tencent Gaming Buddy for PUBG Mobile. So we will first open the damn thing. Then we will click on this option besides the minimize icon. Then go to diagnosis. So if you are someone who has a computer with a dedicated graphics card, then you might be worried because in the OpenGL section, it shows the integrated graphics card instead of the dedicated graphics card. But you don't have to worry about that. You don't have to worry about the system not recognizing your graphics card because we will not be using the OpenGL API. We will again go to this option, then settings, then engine. And then here we will select the DirectX Plus API because well, if you have a dedicated graphics card, then that's going to be using the DirectX Plus API, if it's a new one at least. So this option will be unchecked by default. So if you have a good graphics card, then uh, select this option. And if you don't have a good graphics card, or even if you have one, but you want better battery life, like if you're like gaming in a, in a car or something, then you can uh, like untick this option. So here in the memory option select two gigabytes if you have four or eight gigabytes of ram or one gigabyte if you have like uh, two gigabytes or less than four gigabytes of ram so generally for most people it's two gigabytes then under processor select two if you're on a laptop and four if you're on a desktop this is basically how many processor cores it's going to be using so in the resolution set 720p because that's the highest that's available by default and uh, it won't really make a difference if you're playing it on 720p or full hd so go to game then select sd doesn't really matter because you can change it in game and it doesn't really affect the performance as much so now we will click on save and we will have to restart it in order to apply the settings now one thing that we need to know, yeah well this is the full screen icon so you can press f11 key to exit the full screen as alt plus f4 does not work so one thing that you need to know about this entire process is that tencent gaming buddy is an emulator it's an android emulator so emulators are not really gpu dependent they are a lot more cpu dependent so even if you don't have a graphics card, the performance won't really be that different. As you can see the in the top left corner of my screen, let me just turn off the volume. Yeah. In the top left corner of my screen, you can see GPU one, GPU two, memory one, memory two, which is basically the amount of memory used by the GPU, CPU, temperature and percentage and usage and uh, RAM and frame rate. So. Okay, so now we will go to the training mode to, you know, see the performance. Here are the settings that I'm using. Make sure to disable anti-aliasing if you're, you know, playing it at, it at higher resolutions and uh, disable auto adjust graphics because it does more harm than good in, uh, in an emulator. Okay, so as you can see, the CPU usage is very high. It's around 70s and 60s, but the GPU usage is barely touching 50s. Sometimes it goes up to like 60s or 70s, but for the most part, it remains like uh, around 50 to 55 percent. So the GPU is not even being utilized to its full extent. So even if you use the integrated graphics card, the performance won't be that different. The frame rate, as you can see, even though the CPU and GPU usage is uh, well, very low, but the frame rate is like fluctuating a lot. It's sometimes going down to, to 30, but well, for the most part, it's above 50. It's around the 50 to 55 range. So the performance is pretty good and you should be able to play it uh, even if you don't have a graphics card. So yeah.